Hello, a good day and warm greetings from Nayati Healthcare. I am Dr. Amit Bhargava, Director of Medical Oncology at Nayati Healthcare. And I take care of cancer treatment by virtue of chemotherapy, immunotherapy and targeted therapy. Today I am going to talk about breast cancer and to let you know that breast cancer is a completely curable disease provided we detect it early and treat it properly. Let me just talk about the symptoms of breast cancer. In early breast cancer, normally women feels a lump in the breast, it might be a small lump. If you put a peanut below the quilt and feel it above a quilt, that kind of a feeling you get in the breast and that's a very small lump that you feel and with time it keeps on growing. As the lump keeps on growing, it involves lot of structures in the breast around it and then you get dimpling in the breast or nipple retraction or you get thickening of the skin of the breast. So these are some late features of breast cancer. So we need to avoid all these things. We need to catch breast cancer when we can feel this small lump within the breast. So then if we have a lump in the breast, then the other things we need to know is what kind of a lump is it? How to diagnose this as a cancer? Then we need a biopsy. Biopsy is a small procedure where we put in a small true cut needle into your breast and either under ultrasound guidance or under a mammographic guidance, we do a biopsy. And with this biopsy, we come to know two to three things. Number one, whether it is cancerous or not. Then we do certain additional tests on that biopsy, like estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors, Chi67 and HER2 new receptors. Now what these tell us? They tell us about what kind of drugs are going to be effective on the patient and what will be the prognosis of the patient. That means how long will the patient live, whether this, is a, this comes under curable intent or it comes under palliative treatment. Then once we know that there is a cancer in the breast, next step we do is to see how far the cancer has spread. For this we need to do either a CECT chest or abdomen or a CECT pet. And this tells us whether the breast cancer is localized to your breast or it has gone to the axilla or it has gone to the lungs, liver, bones or brain. Because all these things will decide what kind of a treatment you require and how long are you going to live with breast cancer. Now let's talk about the treatments available for breast cancer. For breast cancer, early breast cancer, the treatment commonly we do is a surgery wherein nowadays we do not sacrifice your breast we just remove the lump from the breast and there is a dictum of sentinel node biopsy we do it at our hospital and in sentinel node we put a radioactive dye within the tumor and wherever the dye reaches first we sample those lymph nodes and send it for examination if those nodes are negative we don't further do anything and we come out and depending on the histopathology then again we plan for chemotherapy. Suppose if the tumor is big enough, it has grown big enough or the behavior of the tumor is bad then the patients may require chemotherapy after surgery and chemotherapy may be 6 to 8 cycles of chemotherapy depending on the parameters which I mentioned that is your estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors Chi67 and HER2 new, then followed by radiotherapy. Radiotherapy is again a must if we are conserving your breast. If we have removed only the lump, then radiation is a part of treatment. Suppose if we have removed the whole breast and your lymph nodes in the axilla are positive, even then you need radiation to the chest wall. So that comes to the modalities of treatment that we have talked. Now, how to detect cancer early? Now let us talk something about cancer screening. Breast cancer screening is something which we need to talk in the community because if our community knows how to detect breast cancer and what are the symptoms of breast cancer, 
then we can detect this cancer at an early stage and we can keep our community free of breast cancer. Now, in breast cancer, when we talk of screening, we talk of three things which are very important. Number one, self-breast examination. Self-breast examination is done once in three months by the lady herself who is above the age of 30 years and there are various protocols available for self-breast examination where you have to examine your breast with the palm of your hand from below your collarbone till that where your ribcage ends and from midline to your central uh, side region where the extent of the breast is and I told you the feel what kind of a feel you are going to get with that you place a peanut below the quilt try to feel it from top you will feel a hard small stony lump in your breast so if you get this kind of a feeling you need to consult your uh, doctor immediately next thing comes is the clinical breast examination clinical breast examination is done by an expert and normally the frequency that we uh, uh, do it is once in a year the self breast examination is done once in three months clinical breast examination is done by an expert which is done once in a year and if the doctor feels that you have something abnormal in the breast next things we do is an ultrasound or a mammography these two modalities are labeled as a screening modality and mammography since it contains radiation so it should not be done without any expert advice once the expert or a doctor tells you to do a mammography only then you should go in for a mammography ultrasound you can do it at your whims and fancy there is no harm in doing ultrasound and that is how we screen diagnose and treat breast cancer so any queries on breast cancer you can always mail me or can send a query to naiti healthcare we have a fully developed department of cancer our center of excellence of cancer is capable of treating all kinds of cancers and we have experts available from best of the institutes in the country. Thanking you for a very patient listening.